want to get an FPV drone for my videos now. I've been waiting on one uh, to come out for um, DJI, and they finally came out the FPV drone. If you don't know what an FPV drone is, they pretty much do shots like this. Yeah, so pretty cool, right? So, I mean, I like drone shots, but it's so stationary. I want to feel like a bird. I want my videos to feel like somebody's watching a bird in the wind. My protein use called Aftermath, 45% off. I think possibly 55% off. We had a Mike and Ike collaboration as well. So we have a Mike and Ike flavored protein, sour, and just like a regular fruit, fruit um, protein. So definitely check that out. Link in the bio. Also Alpha Clothing, use code Aftermath. You already know, been with them for five years straight. And there's a reason. So right now we are working on our hips, right? Front motions, bringing the knee up. Uh, this is the motion right here that gets tired out the quickest when it comes to high intensity endurance running uh, that we need to focus on a lot more. So I just kind of break everything down to movement when it comes to my exercises. So you got four sets of eight to start out the workout. So with this exercise, I'll actually do this every single workout. Do front. The next one will be back. So we'll do the back side, working on the glutes, hamstring. And then the third day will be laterals. We'll be turned sideways, working the inner and outer abductors. Abductors, abductors, and adductors. I am the nigga that it you see when you sitting with me, you a wingman. Everybody said they hot shit. Some of y'all ain't right though. Everybody got punch line. So a lot of what I choose to do on the day depends on once again how I feel. So let's say, let's say I had heavy front squats today, right? You know, and I have a choice of deadlifts or you know back squats, bar squats tomorrow. It just depends on how my quads feel. If they feel a little bit too activated or too sore doing front squats, then I'll switch to deadlifts. You know, if the deadlift, let's say conventional style is a little bit too too much on the, on the quads, or whatever, then I go to sumo. You know, it's, it's just, once again it's about feeling, but you just kind of choose whatever's right for you on that day because at the end of the day it's very specific to the area that you're training meaning once again quad day just do quad training it doesn't have to be crazy uh crazy uh heavy front squats all the time uh just like back day it doesn't have to be heavy back squats or deadlifts all the time you know and you just kind of mix it around if i do deadlifts on a tuesday or the second day of my training then after the rest day i'm going to do back squats the next time and I'm gonna keep away from doing front squats. So once again, you just gotta think about, you know, the intensity, cause I still gotta do running and stuff afterwards. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to build as much endurance as we can for the legs, just to keep going, you know, thinking about those 80 minutes in rugby that I have to just keep pushing myself in. I don't want any areas of my body that are just lagging behind uh, that can't keep up with, you know, how I'm trying to play.
Cause I never really got it. So I was doing the split squats. I changed it up uh, because I need something a little bit more dynamic to end the quad training split. So we're gonna do, we're gonna switch those um, reps to jump squats, eight, eight reps with uh, four reps of uh, non-weighted jump squats, maximum effort. Yeah, so it's usually a hinge movement, hips, working on the hips, hit the quads, and then, Damn, I should have had leg press. So I should have did leg press. So we might do leg press after this. Cause I think my, my uh, rotation's kinda, cause I, I wasn't feeling it enough on the quads, doing the split squat on this, but I'm already on this machine, so I didn't want to leave. But after this, we'll probably do some legs, leg press. Now we got bench, working on the upper body now. Legs is done with. I was going to leg press, but I did my three movements. For quads, don't want to overdo it. Once again, about three movements is good enough, right? Because at the end of this workout, we still have something that involves full body. And um, we don't want to do too much. And when it comes to the bench training, I don't do too much. Uh, once again, come in, do some strength work, I probably might do a, you know, set of 12, set of 10, eight, pretty much pyramid. 10, 12, 10, eight, six, four. And um, don't train chest too often. The reason why is because the chest tightness, the chest tightness and back tightness, honestly, uh, keep me from passing, you know, properly. So too much chest, chest growth and stuff, it's not good. I just, I just don't think, um, a lot of pressing is good for, you know, athletic movement, period, because you're, you're tight, you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to reach when too much is going on in the front and the back, and it's tight, you can't reach greatly. Um, so we just kind of keep it minimum. I literally come in here and do some strength training stuff for chest. That's really about it. I'm not focused on growing my chest. Um, if, honestly, if it doesn't, if it can't really translate properly into field stuff, there's not, there's a small chance that I'll be doing it. You know, I might do it just for myself, uh, just to feel good a little bit, like a little pump. But other than that, no. My training has changed a lot, like, not drastically, but uh, I've definitely cut down on a lot of that bodybuilding style, style training. Alright, for me, for me.
So now we're gonna do something a little bit dynamic with the chest. Just simple, about 10 to 15 reps of incline explosive push-ups off the bench right here. We're gonna do four sets of that, and then we're gonna move on to more of a full body uh, exercise. Where is it? Oh, hold on. We might not be able to do the full body. Okay, it's out here, Never mind. Uh, you can do this like this or if you got a medicine ball you can do it with that um, I don't have a big medicine ball right now so this is how we're going to do it So I was actually going to uh, finish off my quad, my frontal training with abs and sled pushes, uh, working on power and acceleration or my drive phase. I mean, yeah, uh, power and uh, my drive phase uh, to finish off the quads, finish off some abs, because those are frontal things that I train on also. But we're gonna save that for another time because I want somebody to help film me when I do that, be able to follow me and stuff, uh, make it a little bit more dynamic because I feel like the stationary, um, those stationary shots only kind of really work in the gym uh, roughly because you want to see what I'm doing of course so I'm going to actually do that later today uh, for when I go do my conditioning so that being said we'll have somebody help me film that uh, but if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the workout program uh, give it a thumbs up I'll, I'm working on the program um, as we speak I've been doing this for a, a, over a month now and um, programs coming soon uh, I've been jotting down everything I've been doing and um, you know, feeling wise, just going off of feeling how I felt. And uh, hopefully uh, for those who wanna purchase the program, it uh, helps you out and you end up enjoying it. Uh, something different that I haven't seen. So once again, I just hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications. Uh, more rugby videos coming as well. We got rugby practice Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'll try to get somebody to help uh, me film those practices. Uh, but that being said, have a great day and catch you on the next video.